Hey again, guys. Um, I just quickly want to recap what we learned today in our sort of key takeaway section. Um, so just to go over what we learned, uh, in our first segment, we defined polymorphism. And more importantly, we actually went over what the benefits of polymorphism were. Um, namely, it results in cleaner and more easily readable code, um, as you could tell by like the little small classes that we wound up with instead of a big class with a large conditional chunk in it. And uh, probably more importantly, we wind through polymorphism, through writing code that abides by polymorphism principles, we wound up actually abiding by single responsibility principles as well. And that is super important because um, it decouples your code and uh, code that is coupled, code that has classes that have more than one responsibility tends tend to break in sort of unexpected ways um, as you change one, one responsibility. So um, we provided some cool examples of polymorphism, uh, the first one via duct typing and the second one via an inheritance. So I hope that clarifies and clears up um, what is otherwise a pretty tricky, uh, tricky concept, but if uh, now you can kind of see, um, there's really nothing too magical or tricky about it, but um, a whole lot of benefits uh, to writing code that is uh, ultimately clean and readable. Um, anyway, guys, thanks a lot uh, for watching today and uh, take care.